if you had this design on the left, big heavy plate design, and you thought, oh, I could do this differently. I could do this, and you've got this in your mind on the right. But you say, how am I going to get there? And you say, in a history-based system, start over is absolutely the answer. And I would start over if I was using a history-based system, for sure. But I said, you could do this in under two minutes to get from what's on the left to what's on the right in solid edge. And people said, well, I'd like to see that. So I brought that with me this year. I've got this sped up 2x, but this clock is real time. And you're going to see this magically transformed from the thing on the left to the thing on the right in under two minutes of wall clock time. And so you see that the rib has magically become the sidewalls. The sidewalls get closed up. And what I want you to be noticing here is just the flexibility. We would never undertake this in a history-based CAD system. So we need to round up a few things here. But basically, you're able to repurpose the geometry. And this is fundamentally important to the creative process. If you think you can improve your design, but all of a sudden your CAD system is constraining you from doing so, you're not going to get to the best design. Notice I'm not going in and out of profiles or sketches. I'm not going in and out of parts a lot. I'm able to sketch directly, have things region automatically, maybe round up a few corners here and there. And in a second, you're going to see us editing multiple parts at once. Again, not going in, rolling back the history tree, rolling forward the history tree. Not any of that. So I need to adjust the stand as well. It's now round, and I'm going to make these two parts taller all at once. And here I am at a minute 52, all done from what you saw on the left to what you saw on the right. So this is game-changing stuff, and I invite you to learn more about it.